Uh, in the meantime, we begin at four with new allegations tonight against former Ohio House Speaker Larry Householder, and these are serious. It appears the HB6 scandal that Householder was embroiled in, you may remember that, goes far beyond First Energy. That's right. In fact, undercover government agents found an alleged pay-to-play scheme involving Ohio's sports gambling laws. And they're all with bribes to Householder. 3 News' Neil Fisher has exclusive details on this. Now, this, the, the whole First Energy thing in HB6 was a big deal. This seems like it could kick it up yet another level. And it's been one of those things that's been years in the making of finding out more details, and now we have more details. Uh. Householder's motion asked to withhold statements from lobbyist Neil, Neil Clark. Now the U.S. Department of Justice filed a response which points to major corruption. In the DOJ filing, Clark told undercover FBI agents posing as businessmen to set aside fifty to one hundred thousand dollars to pay public officials, including Householder, to fast track sports betting. Clark told them about House Bill six and referring to First Energy as the bank because, quote, they've got too much money, too much power. Householder argues these statements are hearsay because Clark has died, but the government is attempting to show they were in it together. OK, that seems like it could be difficult with the main party here being deceased. How do they plan on building their case to show that this indeed happened? So I spoke with uh, Jonathan Enton, who's a Case Western Reserve University law professor earlier today, who's followed this case closely. He believes the government is trying to establish that Householder was at the center of the conspiracy. We are going to show that this conspiracy existed. We are going to show that Mr. Clark was part of the conspiracy and that these statements were made to promote the conspiracy. And from the government's standpoint, they're saying that's all we have to show to establish that this evidence is admissible. Enton told me that this response shows that the government describes Householder as a public official that was part of the largest political corruption scandal in Ohio history. The government has other evidence as well, so the case won't fall apart if these recordings are excluded. However, Enton believes since Householder hasn't agreed to a plea deal yet, this case is on track to go to trial. Oh, man, and you know how these corruption cases go. There's a spider web effect. So. And there's so many people that are involved That's in this, it. too, that are being uncovered. It's a case in the making. This wow. is stunning abuse of power at the absolute worst. When you're accepting money for political favors, this is exactly what everyone fears, and it seems like that that's happened in this case. The definition of that pay-to-play line. Yeah, exactly. All right, Neil, thanks. More to come. Yeah.